Welcome back everybody to the Useless Mr. Moon Show, a horror game show and today, as you can see, we are going to continue with Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. We have already did some uh, some good ghost hunting investigation, some good releasing of the ghost, so kind of exercising it. Uh, last video we did, uh, the, the lady in white around the, the crypt somewhere, somewhere in the within the crypt. And yeah, she still had a son there that died with her as well, got brutally murdered by her by their husband by her husband uh well her husband killed her and his boy because she cheated on him and actually had a, a son with someone else so we released her we helped her find some peace but now it's actually up to us to find as well her son to make them reunite in heaven so to speak so to say so i uh, i think we should hop in we should not waste that much time ladies and if you're new to the channel leave a like subscribe of course but for now let's have some fun and let's see if th this ghost can scare us again because a residual ghost that was the last one those ghosts don't really scare you that much an intelligent ghost and a shadow ghost and actually bold guys and a demon so the rest of the ghosts actually they can scare you pretty pretty much though they have some jump scare mechanics in the game you can actually switch jump scares feature on because there's a whole function for it. But I'm not gonna do that now. We're gonna do that later on when we're almost done with the game. We're gonna have some fun then. Because I noticed and I've learned from others that the jump scare feature actually doesn't bring that much to the game besides just lame ass jump scares that get really boring after a couple of times. Um the, the whole creep factor works within this game that it's actually realistic, kind of a realistic ghost of games walking around waiting for the ghost to appear. Uh, so on and so on but yeah as you can see we're going to that uh, to the map there i'm actually kind of in a hurry i feel like i don't know why but it feels like it if it, we last time we were on uh, church on spruce street we already did evergreen lane um all the ghosts there except the poltergeist but the poltergeist we cannot release yet they they do need to implement it and they will the developers will do that soon because every week they're updating the game so that's actually bloody fantastic you see a lot of um locations already but we can uh, until now really do five locations where we can do if green lane we can do jefferson street polk street church on spruce street and we have somewhere the lighthouse so the bar Li harbor lighthouse the other ones will be implemented over the future in somewhere over time it will imp be implemented they slowly creating every location with ghosts and why it does it takes so long while they're working hard is because they are creating a lot of backstory to every ghost. Every ghost had a had a time of death or um, how they died. Name it. Um, the why they're still grieving or what their point was. It doesn't matter. Every ghost has something else, and it is all linked to the different type of ghost that we have. And that's actually why this game is so magnificent. Um, as we as I said, I did Evergreen Lane, almost everything done there. Jefferson Street, we still have to work out the demon, but that's also not implemented yet. We have Polk Street still. Um, we did two out of the four ghosts in Polk Street. Um, we still have to do the, I think, the um, intelligent ghost and will be a kid. I know that already. And I think we also have to do the poltergeist. There. But we leave that a little bit because we, otherwise we don't have a, a small place to go anymore to actually do something there. What we're going to do today, we're going to hop into Jerk Street. As you can see, she has been released. It was pretty hard to find. You should really check out the last couple of videos that we played this. She was really hard to find. Last video, we only focused on her because this is actually a very, very big location. Um, I know that there are going to be four out of uh, four. No, I know that, we, that there are going to be eight ghosts and we already found four of them. And what I also found last time and... <laughs> It took me like five videos, and those five videos are more than two hours long. So around about 10 to 12 hours to figure out that if we go into Wiki on our left lower corner, we go to Locations and we search on ch uh, ch uh, Church on Spruce Street, you see that we can click this as well and add to our notes. If you're new to this game and you're watching and you think like, okay, let's see what this game is and we just hop into the latest video, these notes give you... Uh, uh, if you take these notes with you on a certain ghost, for instance, and we're gonna do that in a bit, then you uh, make it more likely to for that specific ghost to interact with you. If you don't take it at all, it's going to take you a freaking while for a ghost to interact with you. More, the more notes, the more interaction possible. So, last time we did the lady in white, and I just had two notes. It took me a while in the beginning, like about forty minutes, to add, and 
we could be happy about that, that she showed herself and we could get some evidence. And I thought like, oh, that actually gives us more opportunity or more notes to fi figure out, but no. Then I went in here and we found out that in the, within these texts, you can also click notes to, or bring no from this bring the notes with you on the on the, on the investigation so yeah um that's actually all new to me so what we're gonna do is we're going to now we're going to actually hop in the game now you know and you're updated again for the new comments and for the old comments i'm very sorry but we're gonna hop in right now uh we have here one two three four five six ghosts mr seekers we already did uh no we're not finished with him yet but we're gonna leave him for a little bit because i like to try to release one ghost in one location if it doesn't work we're going to leave it for a bit so that we can come back later and have a new experience with the same ghost otherwise it's going to be a little bit blunt like three ep three episodes about one ghost eh, i uh, i should i would like to mix it up a little bit so we did the lady white last time i actually want to really want to help her son it felt great to do that but we don't have anything about her son in email it seems so we have to go to the archives we go to spruce street and I actually hope... What is this saying? Alice is a woman in white. Yeah, but we don't have anything about the boy yet. That's actually also kind of a problem. Um, Let me see. Maybe... That's a shadow, right? Red eyes. No, we don't need that one. No, we don't need that one either. Red eyes seen east of the crypt. Nope. Wandering spirit in the crypts. Other transport being in the crypt. Small, spirit of a small child in the crypt. Connection to spirits in the crypt. Alright. So we're going to bring those with us. Oh, let me clear my mouse pad here for a bit. <laughs> I, I, I just dump everything sometimes on it. I think these uh, these are actually spirit of the, the boy. Or the notes of the boy. Otherwise, I don't know. One of spirits in the crypt. Other transport being spirit of a small child. Connection to the spirits and crypt. So we're going to take these one and actually hop in. Because I'm very curious how this boy looks like. If it's actually maybe... The, the woman was a residual ghost. And I think he is going to be different. I think he's going to be an intelligence. It might be even a demon though. We, never, we don't know. So we're going to hop in. And I hope we're... We'll have some quick... We have some good evidence immediately in the beginning. But you never know. So it's also kind of a far walk from the truck to the location. I'm going to let you what listen to this. What an incredible opportunity to investigate this location at night. There's quite a history here pertaining to the paranormal. I'm very grateful Pastor Rogers reached out, although I'm not sure what he'll think if I find some evidence. Regardless, Pastor Rogers was concerned enough about what he and his parish members have seen to reach out. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims, claims and put their, put their minds, their minds at, ease. at ease. All right, kind of awesome. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna bring the usual stuff in the in the beginning because I learned now that it's actually very important to bring those. Uh, we also we also figured out uh, how the parabolic microphone works. It's actually very good for a residual ghost and a shadow ghost. Because they, they can't reply or uh, interact with your EVPs or to your questions, reply to your questions. So the parabolic microphone actually also works towards the progression bar to find e evidence or find knowledge or information about that specific ghost. So that's definitely what we're going to bring. Um, and we're going to bring the EMF meter. And actually... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, well, do we? We were going to put it there. All right. Let's go. So let look. Let's look for the for the little boy. Uh, I don't know what his name is. I know his last name is Williams because his mother was Alice Williams. We don't know much about the story though. Besides, he got killed by his father. We need to uh, find him first. Get some interactions with him. We can't get interaction with the woman anymore because we released her, so she's not in the area. Any anything that we hear walking is is the boy. So I hope he's going to show up soon. In a way, ladies and gentlemen, this this game is actually pretty terrifying.
right? Where is this boy? This is where his mother was walking the whole time. An angel. Nah. These statues sometimes really creep me out. <laughs> so, where might this boy be? I hope he's going to be in residual ghost, and so that we actually can wait for him somewhere. As soon as we get him, we know where he is. If it's an intention ghost, it's going to be a bit tougher. Yeah, low angel. This, I hate this statue. Honestly, I really do. Every time. I know it's there. I really do. But it scares the Jesus out of me. Every time. Ooh. Well replicated Mundo. Oh, the Matrix. But we haven't seen him before, though. That's the freaking generator again. Come on, kid. Gotta show yourself. You have the notes, right? I think those are the correct notes. Can be, can be that they are the wrong notes, so that he won't be showing up him, showing himself here. Well, that was a footstep, right? Where did he go? I heard one footstep and that's it. You know, Mr. Small Williams. Junior. Wish you could hear me though. Do you think he might be here though? I think he won't be the same spot as his mother, right? And his mother was mostly here. So we should actually be on the other side. We hear just footstep here, so it's. I heard correctly though. Give us a sign. Always walking on the statue of, or on this grave there. A little bit disrespectful, but I mean well. What else should I mean though? Releasing the ghost. Bringing them to the right afterlife. Come on. Oh wait, the we need the parabolic microphone maybe. Maybe that can actually help. I'm gonna drop this down just like here somewhere. Maybe it helps. Gonna put this one here. Uh, the camera. Right, let's go. Let's get up the other stuff. It's hard to uh, to figure out the first step of a ghost because you don't know where he walks. You don't know where he resides. You have to guess a little bit. I assume that he's in the crypt because. The information that we got from him, we found at the, uh, on the, uh, on the, they call it, Alinea of, uh, the crypt. I'm still sometimes uh, muting my microphone because I still have a running nose, nose, and I have to sniff it up sometimes, and that's a very disgusting sound, and I don't want to bother you with it. 
Yeah, you know. Just gonna bring this one. Um, bring this one as well. Yeah, okay, that's it. Wait. Who we need that one? Actually, no, we need that one first. As soon as we know where he is, we can actually bring the dots because the dots is not really helpful yet if you don't know where it is. As soon as you know where it is, it's it can drain the energy, or it can actually it, it helps the ghost to um, manifest more, so show himself more. That's actually a good tool to use, but to find the ghost is absolutely horrible. It doesn't do a, sh a thing. This is a different tool though, but we need to be lucky with this done. Not that we walk in and we immediately find it. Oh, the camera's scared to be poof. It's fun that two eyes were coming towards me. We heard the fo first footstep. Let's, let's do it logically. We heard a footstep over here. Somewhere. Let's, let's... Walk from here. So quiet. Bring this device. Not hearing anything. Come on, boy. You can do it. Gotta bring it to your mother. I don't know where to start. Again, same with the woman in white. We, we had to wait for her to show up. We had to be at the right spot. And even... And if... You, if, if as soon as we knew that she was on a certain spot, it was still hard to find her again. It took a while. We're gonna use this device. Maybe it helps. Maybe it gives. What? Excuse me? There was a voice. That's radio. Come on. Well, it's out of the grip. I think it's not gonna help for now. Come on. Give it to us. Come on, you can do it. Come on, kiddo, you can do it. Don't be afraid. You came in peace. You're not like your daddy. It is not going to work. It's a horrible sound. Oh, that's peaceful. <laughs> yeah, I told you this last time as well. I, this this is a hard map. I don't like it. That's why I'm saving the harbor map for myself. It's a big map as well with five or six ghosts, ghosts on it. I checked it out a little bit. And uh, that's going to be a cool map for sure. And I want to put my full focus on when we play this game on that map and not think like, oh, we can also go to this map and that map. I'm gonna finish first these maps, and then we go to the new map, and then we wait for updates on new maps, on new ghosts. Because they will be implemented over time. We are gonna have a blast. Absolutely.
All right. This is not helping either. We just here. We put this there. We take this one. All right. And hopefully we can find a cold spot somewhere. Where where can he be? Do we really have to write do we really have to write notes? I really do hope so. But I think so. Because otherwise I don't know. I heard that. How is that possible? Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Got it today. Where the heck are you, kid? No cold spots at all. Just keep walking. Oh, keep walking here. The fun thing is as well, is that we actually need evidence like EMF reading and thermal meeting on him to make him more interactive with us. So, especially the beginning, if you don't know where the ghost is, it's it's a hard, hard period of time to find him. And after that, as soon as you know where your ghost is and you have some evidence in one investigation, it goes pretty quick though. Getting more active. A, a, a ghost gets more active. But not for now. Alright ladies and gentlemen. I have been uh, playing almost an hour right now. And uh, it's a big skip. I haven't had a kick from uh, this kid in the, uh, in the crypto. I don't know if the game is maybe bugged out or something. Like that. I even ch changed notes and in the meantime. But no, there's no thing, he's, he's not showing any EMF, he's not showing any uh, thermal uh, or cold spots or drops in, in temperature, no photo, there's nothing bringing a bell, I don't know what to do, I've checked every corner, every, I stayed at every uh, quick loss, now it's saying it here actually, so this thing doesn't work either, I don't know what, how, I, I, I brought this um, device with me. And then actually he gave on every possible spot that had nothing to do with the thing, uh, words. I thought maybe I could find him in that way. So what we're going to do, we're going to focus on the different ghosts. I'll have to get back in touch yeah, with the property owners to reschedule. You. I think the, or the, the, the ghost bus, uh, uh, bugged out or um, it's not showing up himself. Because we have the right notes, I know that for sure. But yeah. It happens, it happens. I'm sorry about that. We're gonna try it another time because I, I can't play for that long though because it's it's half past 1 a.m. So, didn't want to waste that much time. So, we're gonna focus on a different ghost because I still want to do something today. Uh, let me see. Uh, for you, it's just probably 20 minutes in the game or in the video. But for me, it's already one and a half hours. Not that bad, but, you know, it's, it's a little bit annoying. So... What we're gonna do today, um, we're going to Church Spruce Street though still, but we're going to focus on the Reverend. Why? Because he's fun. Let me uh, put my notebook away because it's, I wrote everything down that I could actually see or find. Um, so yeah, let's do, do, do this away. Alright, that's better. Okay. Um, I found a, actually a um, piece of information. That actually filled up all the spots, so that's pretty good. I found it next to the mausoleum. Um, we know that the reference actually in the in the church, so we're gonna take that one as well. Uh, yeah. Jacob died at a bad time. All right, 
that's what I had the last time. Yes, I mean, had that as well. And then he popped up. So we had Jacob died at a bad time. A reference scene in the church. And church was di di dilapidated. I think it's, I mean, it's wait, right way to uh, la, 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 la. say that. And then we go to wiki. Because we might actually find some extra notes in the... Uh, in the new Everdon wiki, because we, we now can do that, of course. Um, yeah. So, this is actually all the notes that we need, I think. Not really sure. Did I have reference in the church? Yes. I just wrote down last time that the the church was dilapidated and reference in the church that actually caught. We, we brought that two videos ago with us and we got a lot of activity there in the, in, in the church. So, that's why I'm bringing them and I need to check if that. I've, if it's correct otherwise we are wandering about for hours and hours and i don't like that so let's hop in i don't think we need more because the mausoleum is nothing to do with it we don't have any more archived information about him uh because this has to do with the ghost the mausoleum this has to do with the church guy i guess it's all with the cold Sigerston. yeah i think that's it i think we're going we're going in i hope actually now we get some interaction with the ghost would be awesome. <sighs> but yeah, that, that kid uh, didn't give a kick. I think because maybe we released his mother, there might have something went wrong in that location. What an incredible opportunity to maybe they changed this him. location at night. Changed the location. There's quite a history here pertaining to the paranormal. Yeah, we all know this. Let's go. Oh yeah, we're going into church. I'm a bit done with the crypt as well because I really kept looking in every corner, every stone. I brought every device and every kick that the device maybe gave. I stood around there like a, like a little fool. And I felt like, oh, let's go. Maybe we find something. No. Oh. And it actually uh, made me a little bit pissed off. And I didn't want to get frustrated or irritated. So I felt like, let's just go and actually do this goes. And then we make an end of it. Because, yeah, I've been playing for a long time. So it's going to be a little bit of a shorter video, I guess. All right. I know that... I know that the Reverend was walking here the last time. That's pretty cool. What we're we gonna do? No, no. Why am I always doing this? Turn on the camera and then put it down. Because I saw him walking last time through the door. That's why I want to actually focus on him a bit. Well, you know what? Who's this? Oh, we already get if This is so much better. Uh, I think something went wrong with the boy. These EMF readings appear to be normal. No? Did we get it? Boom. There we go. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that a as well. Very evidence. unusual noise. Awesome. That feels finally, finally good again, ladies. I have to be honest. He's walking. Where? Wow, that's great audio evidence. I think the boy that's actually the hardest ghost to find. For me, it has been. As, as I said, I... Oh, oh, that's so creepy again if it was so quiet the whole time. I don't know what he said. That was a very something unusual something about the war. I'll keep that as you evidence. can listen back, though. Yeah, so, this, so I've been also walking around very quietly the whole time. And then I used a different spirit box that the ghost can use or put energy in that the word comes out. And then you walk around and you hear nothing and out of nowhere they say, Summon! Yeah, that is so creepy. That is so creepy. Well, I will try to use it soon anyway, in this uh, location. Uh, no, we're gonna not drop that one, because that's what actually one that we need. Um, we need to pick this one up. Because I have a feeling that he's actually walking uh, all the time here. Oh, yeah. Okay. And also, what I'm going to true the uh, to true to do next time. I just realized. I well, that's why I was so quiet. I was thinking about it. Is um, next time we find a ghost and we do it, for instance, like what we do right now with him. We also take the it's notes like from so the kid with us. Funny. Because I should continue investigating. Because as soon as 
we start to get some evidence, like normal evidence, it's getting more inter interactive with us. So, if we just took it with us, we might have can, could have gone to the crypt as well and actually meet the boy. But we do that next time. What do we have here? Let's just spend some more time. Okay. This this goes much better already. I love it. It's not a gold spot. I don't know why he's reading it though. Can he also be maybe walking here? That's also a possibility. But we can't go in here yet. I think this will be a new location soon. It will be awesome. I think this is a residual ghost. So we have a residual ghost again. I know we did it the last time as well. Doesn't really matter. We do it anyway. We have to do them anyway. And this is actually the only ghost that we could that I know that I can find right now. Mr. Seagaston. Hmm, so maybe we do Mr. Seagaston afterwards. Or maybe we go to Polk Street to the boy over there. I hope we can still do that today. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. paranormal. Alright. He needs to talk more. You already have his picture. You hear? This is important. I explained to you guys, if you if you're new to the channel, I will explain it right now as well. Last time I figured out that I believe that's actually the thing. We sometimes hear like little bells in the background, ghostly noise, but those, if you try to record them, it's not recording it. And I think the game, what the game is actually telling you when that ha sound happens is ghosts becoming more interactive with you. So more stuff is about to happen. But that is, uh, look, that is the generator, right? These EMF yeah. readings right, appear to be generate. normal. Where is he? Come on then, bro. There he is. Because that's not the generator. The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. It's def definitely paranormal. Now we need to take a picture of him. And we're gonna uh, grab the parabolic microphone for a bit. Because we're done with this device. Uh, yes. Done with the temperature meter as well. Oh, that feels so much better when you can just interact with the ghost instead of looking like a fool. I'll get that boy one day. I will get him. But uh, I might take the relic back as well from the, from the mother. So that maybe he's placed back as well. I think something went wrong because I I, don't, I can't expect when you have two notes with you, especially about him, that he's not giving at least one kick. Not a walking sound, not a EVP, not a photo, nothing. Not even EMF reading. Still bothered by it, as you can see. <laughs> All right. Let's take this one as well. And our normal camera. But this is still a fantastic game. I love it. I love it when a plane comes together. Right, so. Right. Yeah, it's so creepy in this church, this light. Oh no. Shoot off. I like the darkness now. I get used to the game. Let's call him. The reverend. I think actually, this camera is not placed very well. Uh, no, that's not the one. <gasps> Alright, we did it. Found him. Oh, let's turn it on first. That's actually a good thing to do. We already have a... Alright. We already got the picture now. Oh, let's actually pick it up. So we know. How rare to take a photo of a ghost. Do we see him? I know he's walking there. But... Nothing. Oh, he's was standing right at the left. At this picture, he's standing in the left, on the left side of the picture. On the camera. That's pretty cool. Creepy. Oh. 
We got him. Yes, baby, we got him. Nice. Free shot. All right. Let's see if he says something. Yeah, this this device doesn't really help us. See, Leffy walking like around with that thing like a maniac. It should actually already let us hear the walkie steps. Because I can hear him on the background, but not with the machine. All right, come at me. Come at me. We need more EVPs from you, sir. We have actually light here. No. Oh! Wait! There's a shadow figure! What a rare experience to take a photo of a ghost. We got him! Oh, we had him. Wait a minute. Okay, so this is... This is John Uri. Jacob, Jan, John, no, John Uri, right? But that's actually a pretty creepy picture. <laughs> that's gonna be a twin shot. Nice. So he does pop up in the church. That's good to know. We've trying to trying to we have been trying to find him. His actual uh, spawn point, and I know that church is a possibility, or a cemetery is a possibility. But we now are sure that we can also find him in the church. We still have a please, please, nice. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Where's my other recorder? Where's my actual normal recorder? I dropped it somewhere probably. Oh no, that's not a good that's not a good thing. Hey, keep talking. That's Luckily I'm audio. carrying this device, but I don't know where I left my other one. Where did I... Where did I drop it? From outside, maybe. Okay, so now we do, we do have to... Do, then we have to do it with the parabolic bike. Right? Not, not really a big problem. We will manage. But we don't have any evidence of that guy on the, uh, the... Yeah, I think something is wrong with the boy because we didn't bring any evidence about the shadow figure. But he already popped up, right? I think we should put off the, switch off the light. He might be more interactive than... I still don't know where I left my EVP. Recording thingy. A little bit of a problem. Well, not for now, but eh. case. You'd oh, there it is. All right, I found it. No problem at all. Please give us another sign. You can do it, buddy. You want to release you? Can you please interact with that thing? That would be so crazy. Hello? That was definitely a sound. Oh, those are these ghostly background sounds. Come on, my friend, we need a one or two, two more. Why did he get so quiet? I'll keep that as audio evidence. It's so weird that he popped up as soon as we switched on the light. Wow, that's great audio evidence. 
Wow, this battery died abruptly. Looks like the batteries are dead. Good. But he's walking outside as well. So far. Alright. Batteries dead. We we have some new batteries. Bad bad batteries. Alright. Uh, batteries. That's what I came for. All right. Can we actually bring something else right now? We don't need the camera anymore because we already have it. But we don't need that one either. Um, I'm gonna bring that for that just for fun, right? That one as well. Hopefully, he's going to give us sneak peeks so we can release him. No. You give us a sign, please. Right about there. Walk over it, we will hear it. That sounds what I mean. Is what to happen? No, him. Work. I think the lights actually really need to be off to have more interaction with the ghost, but but now it really seems like the, this residual ghost liked it to have the lights on. Yo, Grandpa, where are you? There he is. Ooh, Ooh. that is eerie audio evidence. That's so cool. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Walk here. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. That's extraordinary audio evidence. Come on, talk. Why is it so hard to talk? I'm gonna leave it on. The very brings a good swear here. Atmosphere, vibe. I think we just have to wait and, uh, and keep pressing that thing. Is that cracking actually that we turn, or is it him walking here? Come on, Reverend. We can, we know you can do it. You can do it. Come on, you can do, it, buddy. Do it for us. Those have been slow today. Very slow. You have everything right here. Yeah. That's extraordinary audio evidence. Ooh. Oh, you scared? You scared me, man. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. All right. So how? How can we make it happen that he's actually talking or? Should happen soon. He's gonna use this thing. He's not using it. Alrighty. We just, I think we need two more. And I want to know how we're going to get them, because he's not screaming, not talking at all. And residual ghosts don't reply on EVP question. That doesn't make... Cider. Is it here? Is 
she may be upstairs. She might be upstairs, of course. That's a very, very awesome picture. I think that it would be better if they're both on. She's mostly here. So. I keep going here. The battery's dead already. Already? Come on, man. What the heck is wrong with you? I think there's something, something wrong with the game again. I, it feels like it. This never happened before that he's draining the battery so much. Right, there you go. Did he turn on the other one as well? No, he did not. Hello. Hello, neighbor. Come on, give it, give a sign. It's not that hard. Just want to talk. Come on, brother. It's a big house. I think, yeah, I think it's going. It's being prepared to for a new location. Thank you. One more. That was a very unusual noise. One more. We're going to do that, that again. It's a very big house, I think. Yeah, I think they, uh, they're they making this for a new location. Oh, it didn't work. I thought the repeating might work. But he also talks outside. That's good to know. Going to walk in circles here then. Come on, one more, one more, and then we can come back for you. Whoa, whoa, that was me. I didn't walk to the side. We got him. Yes, we got him. Let's go. Who is that? It's relic look like a, 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 how do you call it? Chalice? We call the chalice? We're going back. We're gonna immediately release him, and it's gonna be the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. Because, yeah, it's quite late here. Sadly, it can't be as long as usual, but there will be episodes that they will be as long as usual. It can't be always a party, is what we say in Holland. On the old head face, sign, eh? Huh? That's exactly what it means. It cannot always be a party. All right, there we go, there we go, at least we did one ghost, so I'm not happy about that. Yeah, that, that, that kid took a lot of time away from me, that's uh, annoying. And as I explained before, uh, today, um, when we played, or for you it's a couple of days ago, but I made the last couple of videos in one day, because I'm going away for five days again, so that's why I don't have much time. <laughs> actually record the features but i'm still loving it to do it so at least we're gonna take uh, the note about him i think we really have to do that as i explained before i'm gonna take this one i don't know what the fourth was one what the fourth one was actually oh wait the church of course but we don't need it it's a residual ghost pretty sure about that and his relic was a kind of a chalice Right. Yes, relic is kind of a chalice. Awesome, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. What an incredible opportunity to investigate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, I didn't read the ding thingies. Okay, Jacob, Jacob something. Probably gonna get two last names. 
We have to find the relic anyway. It's not really a problem. We are keep, yeah, we're running already. Okay, relic time. Where are you? I think it's in really at the same location. I think it's already there on the table. There it is. Bye -bye. Everything's still rolling. That's good. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, I want to... Uh, I forget one thing that I always do. I always bring a camera. If you're playing this by yourself and you're releasing the ghost, always bring a camera. Why? Because at the end, he's 100% showing himself and you can always get one picture in to... Um, Get the experience out of it. You can still do actually everything and then do release it, but I don't like that. It takes too much time. We found him, we did it, we found everything about him that we needed to know, and then um, boom boom, we're gonna release him. Mr. Thero is back, right, ladies and gentlemen? Some of you know what that means. Oh, there it is. Next, where we found the relic. Let me place the relic. Oh no, that's not it. That's my, uh, A smudge stick that I just placed that on. Don't need to do that. Burning. Then we place this one down. There it is. What are you doing? It's a very weird thing to do, but okay. Which ghost are you trying to communicate with? Jacob Rogers, John Uwis does the John Seekerstein is also Jacob Rogers or Johnson. I recognize the, the name Johnson though. From well, once we read it before. But I don't know if it has to do with something with John though. I'm going with Jacob Johnson. Excuse that's the right name. I would like to acknowledge Reverend Jacob yes. Johnson's presence. Yes, now we need to follow him. As usual. Oh, but now we are actually having a problem. Because I don't know anything about him. We might have to do try and error here. Hello. What's the spirit's attachment? Alice? Your faith was very important to you. And I know it was painful to see your congregation deteriorate. Congregational. Alright. Where did he? Huh? He went to the left and then boom boom, gone. There he is, okay. Whoa, he did a quick though. What was the spirit's grief upon death? Yeah, I don't know it. Dilapidation, baby, because the Your congregation is strong and they have nice. a wonderful place to worship. It is time oh, to yeah, be with your savior it. and be at peace. Peace, yes. Maybe you can send the boy. Ooh, camera. How rare to take a photo of a ghost. Awesome. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Alright. Happy, let's go. Oh, don't forget the challenge, Mr. Moons. Otherwise we have to do it all over again. I should double check. I, I have it. Before no I double check needed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a lot of fun. Um, I still had, besides the one hour that I've been doing basically nothing. Stupid boy. But are we gonna put it next to us? We're gonna focus it on a later stage. I would really, ha I would have liked it to actually send him to his mother. But that yeah, didn't work out. Maybe now it actually works. I don't know. You'll see that in the next video. All right, so we did. Now the lady in white. And in this episode, we actually had the Reverend, a.k.a. Jacob Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Well, as I said, this is going to be the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. I, hope really, I really hope you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments, if, of course, if you enjoyed it. Uh, as I say uh, usually, thank you for watching.
If you new to the channel, leave a like, subscribe, of course, please do, because most of you that watch are not subscribed yet, it is not that hard, just subscribe, you can actually put the notification off that you don't want to be updated about it, so that you can always watch it on your own pace, but a subscribe, subscription to my channel would, would really work out and really help me though, but for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, see you later in the next video, bye bye.